Hi, my name is Lana Sachs, and I am doing my site plan recommendation on a street called Del Mar Street in San Clemente. The street segment I'm doing is from a place called Bear Coast Coffee to Nick's of San Clemente. It's about a nine minute walk and it's about 0.5 miles in length. The existing condition barriers include improvements getting approved. It could be hard getting anything approved in the city of St. Clemente. Uh, the cost of improving can also be a difficult task to complete as well as construction. This is a very busy street in St. Clemente, so construction can cause a lot of traffic. One of the things I would recommend to improve active transport is to fix all of the cracked, uneven, and any bricks that have plants growing in them. Um, this creates a tripping hazard or can be difficult for people in wheelchairs to walk around or any elders. I would recommend putting the new bricks in because they do last longer than concrete cement. One of the issues we do have on their streets is that there is only one trash can that's used for both water bottles, papers, receipts, or any other trash that we need to throw out. There is no recycling and at times during the summers it can get overflowed. A recommendation that I would suggest is to put a trash can throughout most of the path that has recycling options and a separate one for trash recycling like the one picture on the left or the picture on the right. The cost varies for all these trash cans and it can be anywhere from $1,000, under $1,000, or even over, depending on what type of trash can you want, the material it's made out of, or the amount you want. Like the picture on the right, it does have three separate main trash bins. You have one for bottles, one for paper, and one for waste. One barrier that is also a huge issue on the street on Del Mar is that there is no large barrier between you walking on the sidewalk, the parked cars, and the people driving by. A recommendation that I would suggest is to create a large barrier between the sidewalk and the road, like the picture shows. The cost varies for inputting grass on sidewalks that will create a barrier between you and the cars. It depends whether you want real grass, fake grass. For this option, I chose real grass, so the grass would cause anywhere between 60 cents to 90 cents per square foot. Um, there's also equipment cost that comes with inputting the grass, so that would cost between 40,000 to 200,000, or sometimes even more depending on how long the street is. And there's also annual maintenance costs that comes with having real grass, and that could be anywhere between 8,000 to 50,000. Another issue that's on the street is that there are no stop signs indicating where you should stop. To combat the fact that there are no stop signs, a recommendation I would suggest is to put stop signs on the street where they are visible, as well as decreasing the speed limits because there are also no speed limit signs on the street.
These stop sign varies between what you want. The stop sign itself would cost you about $300. A stop sign that comes with a street sign that indicates there is a upcoming stop sign would cost you about $350. And a stop sign that has two upcoming stop street signs would cost you about $400. Another issue on the street is that there are no stop signs or indications of pedestrians crossing. A recommendation I would suggest to combat this issue is to create a pedestrian crossing sign either the one on the left, which is a regular cross sign that says pedestrians are going to cross here, or the one on the bottom left that has lights that illuminate during the day and the night that shows, hey, there is a pedestrian walking here, so slow down or stop. The cost for pedestrian signs varies in price depending on what you want. So a normal crossing sign can cost anywhere from $35 to $250. And a crossing pedestrian sign that has lights around it, either just around the sign or also on the crosswalk, can cost you about $1,500 or more. One issue that we have during the street, if you were walking on the street, is that there are no benches. And if there are benches, they are outdated and not very well maintained. One recommendation I would suggest is to add more benches. The cost of a bench varies in what you want. So a recycled plastic bench can be anywhere from $500 to over $1,000. And a metal bench can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000. Another issue is that there are not many flowers or trees planted on the streets. You can see in this image that there are a couple trees, but there are not very many, especially during summer. If it gets hot, there's not much shade, and you can see these trees do not provide much shade. A recommendation I would suggest is to add more trees and plants like the image in the slide shows. This will provide a shade for pedestrians that are walking. The cause of planting trees can be costly and it also depends on where you want to put them. When I was doing research, it stated that Four palm trees will cost over 16,000, so it can be very costly. Another issue that we do have on the Del Mar Street is that there are no bike lanes and there are many cars parked along the street. A recommendation I would suggest is to add a painted bike lane that shares between the cars and the cyclists like the image shows. This will be beneficial to any streets that are narrow and cannot input a bike lane. The cost of a bike lane painting varies depending on what you want. So it could be anywhere between 5,000 to 50,000. Another issue that comes is that there are no lights. And that there are very dim lights, as you can see in the picture, it only shows only halfway down the road. A recommendation I would suggest is to input more street lights. 
Street lights are varying in prices, so if you want an in pavement lighting, that will cost you between eighteen thousand to forty thousand, and street lights also cost between four thousand and fourteen thousand. Another issue we have is that the signs are very small and there is no shelter for the bus stops. A suggestion I would recommend is to have one or more bus stops during the length of the road and to add bus stops and trolley stop signs that are much larger than they are. The cost for a bus stop shelter can be very costly and it also varies on what you want. For this image right here, that shelter will cost you about $25,000. The cost approximations for the most expensive improvements would be a bus shelter, grass extenders on pedestrian sidewalks, and planting trees. The median cost would be bike lanes and lighting, and the lowest cost would be adding signs and trash cans. The highest priorities would be adding a bus shelter and a bike lane. The medium priorities would be fixing sidewalks and adding trash cans. And the lowest priorities will be implementing lights and implementing trees and plants. Thank you for watching my video.